A group of scholars made an appeal to voters on Friday, urging them to cast their ballots to, quote, defend democracy. At a press conference, the scholars said that the January 13th election was a turning point that would shape Taiwan's future. They called on voters not to pick the pro-China path, emphasizing that the EU and the U.S. were both reducing their economic dependence on Beijing. With just over a week till election day, scholars urge voters to cast their ballot for democracy. At a Friday press conference, they called on Taiwan to avoid reverting to its old pro-China policies. We certainly don't want to see our current path of reform be changed after this year's election. On January 13th, come out to vote and defend Taiwan's hard-won democracy and human rights. Over the last eight years, we've deepened our connections with the international community, cementing a sort of democratic alliance. Don't indulge in wishful thinking about the Chinese market. Europe and the U.S. have already begun de-risking from the Chinese market. The process of de-risking involves gradually moving foreign capital out of China, anticipating a black swan event in the future. Taiwan is now seen as an investment opportunity and not a geopolitical risk. The academics express concern about China's election interference. Whether it be spreading disinformation or buying influence, China has made moves to sway the vote. Scholars said the world was closely watching the election results, which would shape Taiwan's future path. I feel that the pro-China path is a thing of the past. China's economy is now in decline. Around New Year's Eve, many international institutions were forecasting that China's economy won't do well this year. At the end of the day, is the pro-China strategy more beneficial for China or Taiwan? The scholars called on voters to use their ballots to protect Taiwan's democracy.